right, y'all. I figured I would go ahead and do a little bit of a video on the power head with my on my Dyson DC 59 motor head. Well, that's what it says on the machine. I got it over here on the charger again. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, this is something that actually intrigued me when I first saw this. Um, I mean, this is a breeze. You don't even need a little screwdriver or coin to get this out. You just twist it. And uh, as we can see, we've got a motor housing inside the roller brush. And like I said, already I like this because, as we can see, this is the motor. <clears throat> and this is why I like this style, because we don't have a belt path on here to give the, um, the belt trail or what some call the line of shame like we do with the power flight the sanitaire the power mags or the royal over here i mean i don't even think these give a line of shame or belt trail because the because the belt's all the way over here but, yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and say, show this. And uh, since I did a minute of talking, we might as well do a little bit of a vacuum test with this since I haven't done one yet. Uh, let me get it to see if I can get it set down in the... Okay, there we go. So yeah, I'll put this back together and we'll do a little bit of a paper test. Alright, it's not a huge demonstration, but that's because I'm trying to make sure I sift through as much of the fine dust as I can. Because I had to take the foam filter out because it would... Well, I can kind of recreate it here, but it would do this. I don't know if that's just something it does when it clogs or what. So here we go. Okay, well, we've already got a full cup, so we're going to empty this, and uh, this is pretty easy to empty, just got to manage to put push the little thing down, whoops, hang on, I kind of went past the line. All right, we're ready to clean up the rest of this mess. And again, we got a bit of a blockage cuz it's a tiny it's a tiny air path, so Yeah, that's one reason I don't like it because As we can see, that's all you got. Then again, I think this is one of the first ones made, so... That is one reason I don't like it, though. So anyway, 
aside from the couple pit stops or three pit stops I had to make because of the blockage, I'd say it did alright. I think I was kind of overloading it anyway. But, um, yeah, as soon as I can get parts for it, I'm gonna. Because we're gonna have to probably. We're definitely gonna start with the filter and, uh, get a power head later. But, yeah. Still got quite a bit left in there to put in. And as many of us Dyson people, well, I'm not quite a Dyson person, but, um, well, I'm not big on Dyson. As we all know, we can take the entire cup off at least. Like, you just gotta push the little red trigger down a second time and it should come right off but yeah as we can see you got a tiny little opening there whoops missed the thing but yeah I've never actually had a design like this that got anything up in the motor because I've had a I've had my share of my DC-41 I've even had my runarounds with the um, I think it was an Animal 2 I could be wrong but it was that other smaller Dyson that's like the uh, DC-41 I didn't have any problems with that getting anything in the motor, so, um, anyway, um, yeah, tell me how you liked it, tell me what you want to see, I'll see what I can do, how I can do it, and when I can do it, and if I can do it, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content, and until next time, bye y'all.